All right, this is lesson number two, and it has to deal with customizing the look and feel of your site. If you're used to the old sites, this is going to be a little bit of a letdown because there's not a whole lot you can do. So over here on the left is your uh, pane that has all the changes you can make to your website. And we're going to go to the Themes tab, and you'll notice that there's really only six themes. So we're on Simple currently. We can change the hue and the color of the background. Okay, We can also fill it with any color we want on this particular one which is the simple one you have a choice of only th three styles of font on your title and on your page light classic and heavy so you can choose those as you know go down and you switch to the different styles you'll notice there's different choices like the aristotle you only have these uh oh no there is a fill one there now okay and that's but that's only to fill that line underneath the um title your color of your background is stuck that way okay so you go down and you've got all these different ones some of them have different font choices than the others so when you look through you have to just find one that that has the look you want one of the um, few things you can um, change here is this banner so when you're in this banner you'll notice you can choose the header type so whether you want it to be a larger banner just a regular size or just the title for the page you have those choices and that's customizable on each page you create as part of your site so we're going to work from this banner perspective because I wanted to show you two other things you can do first of all you're going to name your file here so we're going to call this John's sample site or super site let's change to super all right um, and we can add a logo so we would upload our logo from um, our computer and it's going to take a little bit of time for that little pane to come up and that means it's going to come from your local machine okay if you've installed drive file stream you do have access to your entire google drive also um, so in this case i'm going to navigate to the shen resources and in inside shen and i'm going to go into the shen logos folder and i'm going to pick the sill innovative learner logo okay so it's going to put it up here at the very top on the navigation bar and you can choose a background color of transparent white or black so i'm going to choose transparent which means that it'll be up here but the background will show through so now i can click change image here to change this geometric design when i click it i can select from a library of google ones and you can see there's quite a few of them some of them are basic color blocking um, so they're not too too bad so i'll choose i'll choose this one it looks like a chalkboard with some math on it Okay, and you can see it puts it in your background there. It does adjust the text for readability here. If you don't want it to adjust this text, essentially what it does is it changes the uh, brightness and contrast of the background. You want the image the way you originally found it to be there. You can click this, it'll shut that off, and then it'll, your font might be less visible, but your background will be bolder. Okay, note that when you click on change image here, you can click upload and go and find an image that's on your computer or on one of your drives. So I'm just going to go out here and see if there's any pictures on this computer. There are not. So we will go back over here to my Google Drive. And we'll go in here. And then we'll go to Images. And let's see. Let's see if there's something in the miscellaneous here. It's a gray gradient. Okay, so we're going to choose that one. Click open. And what it's going to do is it's going to put that gradient in my background there. Um, notice there's a little tinge to it. Either I had that in there or it's part of this design. So let's switch and see. Nope. Switch to when I switch designs, we get the gray gradient. So that yellow was part of that site's design coming through. Okay, so you're a little limited in what you can do here. Now, once you've added content to the page, so let's add a title. To this section adding content which is the next video actually but I wanted to show you this because it has to do with this section which is on styling your pages so if you click on this when it comes to this section you can choose to make it regular emphasis one or emphasis two on that section heading okay but you can also fill with an image and select from that library again so if I want them there to be a green background behind that section I can do that or I can put any custom color here okay when you are laying out your page notice that it is very um, vertically linear so you got band here a band here a band here it's gonna be that way going down 
you can shrink up your content and add content side by side, but that's the next lesson. So in terms of color and stylizing your website, those are really the only features you had. You can do a little bit in the banner, and then every content pane you add going down, you can change the background of it. All right, so customizing your page colors and themes.